Hey everybody, this is Jorik. Welcome back to Portugal and Beyond. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. If you're returning to the channel, thank you so much for checking me out and watching my videos. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to get more information about Portugal, living here, moving here, what to see here, as well as European travel news as I get updates and uh, some of our vacation videos from uh, greater Europe as we take uh, our holiday trips. Today, I want to talk about stepping back in time 168 million years and checking out some dinosaur tracks, some footprints that uh, we found here in Portugal. It just so happens that Portugal is very rich in dinosaur bones, so people setting up archaeology tents, several universities are in different parts of Portugal that are continually finding dinosaur bones as well as humanoid bones as well throughout the country. This particular place called Orem, O-U-R-E-M, is north of Lisbon. As you see on the map here, it's very close to Fatima. Many of you will not recognize Orem, but you'd recognize Fatima because it's considered a holy place or a religious pilgrimage place for many people who come to Portugal and visit. But right next to Fatima is this Orem, and right outside the town in the countryside is a former rock quarry where upon doing work and, and getting rocks, or, or I should say excavating rocks, they came across some tracks. They stopped the quarry, came in, did some excavation work, and found hundreds of these footprints all around this quarry area. So you can get here, it's free. In the description, I'm gonna give you the location of where these particular dinosaur footprints are. It takes you maybe 15 to 20 minutes to walk back into the area where they're located. But once you're there, it is pretty amazing. They're well-preserved. There's no mistaking that they're footprints. Some places you may look at photos, videos, or you may go to parts of the world where they say we have dinosaur tracks and then you go and go, I can't really see it. Here, you can definitely see it. And they kind of go all over the place. It is believed that there's two different dinosaurs, both called sauropods, that made these tracks. So as you're going through and viewing these, you can take your time. Often, we were all by ourselves for most of this walk. It's not a big attraction. It's free, it's a little out of the way if you're making certain day trips and there's other more popular spots you wanna to go to. But if you like dinosaurs and you wanna see some tracks that are very, they're well-preserved. Yes, they're out in the elements, but they're easy to, to, to walk next to. Uh, it's easy to envision uh, kind of how big these animals were. It's believed that they were 70 tons. And there are some maps and descriptors along the way that kind of give you a perspective of how tall a typical human is, how tall and how big these animals were. This area also gives you some of the geology of why these footprints exist, why they're here, what was going on with plate, technoni plate tectonics, sorry. And it, that kind of really brings it, in, brings it home for me and hopefully for you if you're viewing these, um, what the world was like and how these and uh, sauropods, these particular dinosaurs lived and why they were here in Portugal. So once you're done with this place, I would say in a fast walk in 30 to 40 minutes, you can take a look and be done I would say 45 minutes to an hour is reasonable for an easy pace to get into the area, walk through, probably take some photos and video, and then walk back to your car. It's a very easy walk as well. It's not hard. I would recommend leaving that and going to another small town called Larinha. There they have a, a very good, small but good dinosaur museum. You'll love driving into the town because again, if, if you enjoy dinosaurs, especially if you have kids with you and, and most kids love dinosaurs, 
they have these replica dinosaurs that were indigenous to this area in and around the, the town, around the blocks, on some of the streets, even above you, with little plaques telling you information about that particular dinosaur, the size as it relates to humans, and maybe what they ate, if they were herbivores or carnivores, and when they existed in this part of the world, in this part of Portugal. So that's very cool to just walk around the town and see this and, and get educated on some of the species that were living in, in and around this part of Portugal hundreds of millions of years ago. The museum, again, I mentioned is small, but it does have a, a lot of artifacts in it. Several dinosaur bones, several human uh, humanoid, like Neanderthal, either pre-human, human or Neanderthal skulls, nothing really fully intact, but some partial skulls. There are some plant fossils uh, that they have on display. They also do a really good job of explaining the geology, how some of this stuff came to be in Portugal, why people were finding it, what was going on at the time, but since 200 million years ago, 100 million years ago, what was happening. So if you enjoy the geology and how things happened or how things died off, this museum will take you anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes to get through. There are several rooms, but there's not a lot in each room. So you can focus on a few pieces and move on. I think it's, it's well worth it. This is it. Between dinosaur tracks and a really cool but small museum, you get a great dinosaur day trip, if you will. So if you're looking to come to Portugal, if you're already in Portugal, it's close to Lisbon. It's not far from Porto to come to this area. If you're going to, if you're already here and you're living and you want to go on a day trip, need a car because a bus isn't going to get you into the footprint area. You would need a car to get in there. Uh, I don't know if there would be a taxi getting you in from Orem. Uh, but also Lourinha, uh, there is a train and a bus that could get you in there to at least check out the museum. It's well worth it. If this is something that's up your alley and you enjoy uh, the prehistory or the history through the Middle Jurassic period, which is where these dinosaurs had flourished in Portugal, it's very cool. Something you don't see every day. I mean, how often can you say you saw dinosaur tracks? Not very often. So... Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you check it out. It's cool. It Again, th to see the tracks, it's free. The museum, I believe it's only a few euros uh, per person to get in. So I really believe that if this is something that you like, it's a great trip to knowledge for yourself, your spouse. If you have kids, I think they would really enjoy it. And it would be something that... Uh, they will be talking about for years to come when they go back home, whether it be in Portugal, Europe, or wherever home is. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your travels. Hey, thanks so much for watching the full video. If you get a chance, and if you're interested in reading some crazy workplace stories, please check out my two books, Magnet of Badness, Volume 1 and Volume 2, both available on Amazon in ebook or softcover. If you want to make fun of me, there's plenty of stories where you can do that. If you want to make yourself feel better about the job that you're in, It'll make you feel better too. But uh, crazy stuff that happened over 30 years, you won't believe it until you read it. So thank you so much for watching. And if you get a chance, pick up a copy of one of these on Amazon. Thank you so much.